How's it going, you outlaw legends? And welcome into my video showing you how to collect what I consider to be one of the best items in Red Dead Redemption 2, which is of course the Owl Feather Trinket. There's a bunch of good trinkets and talismans that you can collect throughout your journey in story mode, all of which I've covered in previous guides. However, I've saved the best till last on this one, folks. The Owl Feather Trinket gives you by far the biggest stat enhancement of any other item in the game. By permanently decreasing your health, stamina, and Deadeye Core Drain by 15%. Unlike other trinkets and talismans, however, the Owl Feather Trinket doesn't require you to hunt any legendary animals or source any rare materials. Instead, you must complete a special objective in an optional mission given by Rainsfall during Chapter 6. Before we get onto that though, you first have to complete the mission that I'm on right now, which can be started by visiting Reverend Swanson at the Chapter 6 gang camp in Beaver Hollow. It's called a Rage Unleashed and requires you to sneak onto a ship, kill all of its occupants, and then steal the horses for the gang. At the end of the mission you'll be confronted by Charles, who will ask for some extra assistance regarding Rain's fall up at the Indian Reservation. If you plan on collecting the Owl Feather Trinket, then you're most definitely going to want to say yes. At that point, the first mission will finish up and Rain's Fall's location will be marked on the map. Promptly make your way over there to get the next step underway. Once you arrive, just head over to the area where Rain's Fall is located and head inside to get the cutscene started. It's quite a touching moment, to be honest. One of my favourite scenes in the game, in fact, and really does set the pace for the field's trip ahead. After a long journey accompanying Rainsfall up into the mountains, you will eventually come across a burned out campsite that has been trashed beyond recognition, along with some sacred and irreplaceable items that have been stolen from their hiding place. Once you've investigated the clues in the nearby area, you will eventually be instructed to observe the landscape with some binoculars, which will lead you to the culprits. Eventually you can start making your way down to investigate the campsite with the hope of retrieving Rainsfall's precious trinkets. However, despite being saddened by the event, he insists we shouldn't hurt or kill any of the people responsible. Now, that might not be a requirement for finishing the mission itself, but it most definitely is a requirement for collecting the Owl Feather Trinket. If you so much as harm a hair on any of the enemy's heads, Rainsfall will shut you down on the spot and refuse to hand over the trinket. So in order to get this one done, we're going to have to go full stealth mode and sneak our way onto the campsite and steal the items right back from under their noses. It can be pretty tricky, but if you learn the enemy's patterns and follow exactly what I do in the coming few minutes, you hopefully shouldn't have too much trouble pulling it off. To start with, you're going to want to avoid going anywhere near the front of the campsite. The best stealth approach in my experience is either going from the side or the back. As you start to get closer, just make sure you take things very slowly and stay in a crouched position the whole time. When you have a good visual on them, just take a moment to observe the area. There's around half a dozen guards in total, a few of them are fixed in one location, mainly the one sitting by the fire. However, the rest of them have patrol lines which you're going to want to thoroughly observe before making your move. Once this guard here starts to walk back in the other direction, you can begin to make your way over to the camp. From there, you're going to want to come around the back of the tents and follow the line that I take towards the center where the sacred items are located. As long as you stay out of the eye line of the guards and their cones of vision, you really shouldn't have too much trouble. The items you're looking for are located directly behind the two guards sitting at the fire, and you'd be sure that they could hear you given that you're literally inches away from their ear holes, but as long as you stay crouched and don't trigger anyone's cone of vision, you simply won't get spotted at all. Unfortunately, it doesn't get much easier from there. You now have to make your way back to Rainsfall without being detected, so quickly go back the way you came and get out of sight as fast as possible. After they've been robbed, they seem to take notice for some reason, even if you haven't been seen, and will start to fan out in an attempt to find you. You do have the option of bringing your horse to this location before starting your approach, but in my attempts it was a little bit difficult to do without potentially falling down the cliff and alerting the guards in the process. So by doing this it does make the approach easier, but getting back to your horse can require a bit of patience. So keep an eye on the guards and pick the best moment and route to make your way back so that you can return to Rainsfall to claim your reward. When you get back, you will hand over the stolen items, and Rainsfall will ask you if anyone was hurt during the encounter. If you successfully manage to go the passive route, he will congratulate your efforts and reward you with the new trinket right there on the spot. 
After a small final cutscene, you will exit out from the mission and be notified of your new acquisition. And yep, there you have it, the Owl Feather Trinket, which will permanently reduce your health, stamina and dead eye core drain by 15%. No animals to hunt, no items to source and no crafting fees whatsoever. I know the stealth mission can be a bit annoying, but considering the lengths you have to go to for some of the trinkets and talismans, it's really not too bad by comparison, especially when considering the perks that come with it. But yeah, that will be a wrap for today's video. If you did find it useful, please help it to be seen by more people by tapping the like button down below. And if you are new around here, then definitely think about subscribing as well. I'm one of the few channels out there still passionate about Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, and I've got all sorts of exciting content on the way. Until we meet again, folks, I'm Red Nitrate, and I'll catch you on the next one.